Yeah, look, a dead body. I must have been here, and I hear flies. Gosh, there's flies a lot. Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay, things again, too easy. Hey y'all, I'm Major Cat, and today I will be playing Merwin. Y'all ready? Let's go. Oh, my mysticism's almost at 100. We gotta keep casting our training spell. I'm over encumbered. <laughs> oh gosh, I completely forgot that I was over encumbered. <laughs> oh, just by one, okay. Oh, the puzzle box has weight. When I get rid of that, I won't be encumbered anymore. Try to repair some stuff. Okay, that should have helped. Yes, perfect. All right, let's go give him the puzzle cube that we got from Urkentan. And for this cube, he will give us a little information. Hey, buddy. Have you done the little favor I asked? It was... <laughs> it was only a little favor in the sense that the puzzle box was little. <laughs> it was a big favor, buddy. Perfect. Just what I was looking for. Let me take this Dwemer puzzle box, and then I'll tell you what Caius will want to know about the Sixth House, and about the Navarine. By the way, the inscriptions on the box seem to be directions for setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock. I'm not sure if... For setting a Dwemer key to open a specific lock? So does that essentially turn it into a skeleton key? If you're interested, after you delivered your report to Caius, come back and maybe I'll have a key that can take you back to Urkentan. I don't want to go back to Urkentan. <laughs> I really don't. Can you tell me more about the sixth house, please? House Dagoth is the sixth house, the lost sixth house. Oh. In the first age, House Dagoth betrayed the other great houses during the War of the First Council and was destroyed for their treason. Oh, I read that in the book. I can answer any questions you have, but I'll have to give you some notes to give Caius and recommend some Sixth House references he should read. Like what? Here's a list of cheap books. All of them will tell you something about the Sixth House and how it ended. The War of the First Council, St. Navarine, Navarine Moon and Star, and The Real Narivar. Try the bookseller, try the bookseller, Dorisa Dervale over at the commercial district. She'll have at least one of these titles. Well, what if I wanted all of them? <laughs> Can you tell me more about House Dagoth? House Dagoth was the sixth of seven Dwemer great houses. Nothing remains of the sixth house. Its members were all slain or adopted into other great houses following their treason in the War of the First Council. Their clan stead is called Kogoru probably pronouncing that wrong. <laughs> okay, so I... Greetings. Whoa! I you to talk. A pleasure My to meet pleasure, you. Really. <laughs> Y'all scared me. So I think I got what I needed from him. So I can go back and talk to Caius. Yeah, he gave me the notes on the sixth house and I have to deliver them to Caius. Oh, I was stuck on something. Stuck on you. <laughs> Caius, uh, I was about to say, buddy, you better be in here. Hello there. What you got under your little bed? A good skooma pipe. <laughs> Caius is on that skooma and a spoon and a bottle. Oh, and you got mood sugar in here, buddy. You know, this isn't entirely legal. I've got the notes you wanted. Are you here to discuss your orders, my G cat, or is there something else you want? No, I'm here to discuss my orders. These notes are from he this guy's name, Hesfet Antibolus. Excellent. I trust he didn't work you too hard for them. He absolutely did. He asked me to find this tiny little puzzle box in this Dwemer ruin full of enemies. Not very tough enemies, but very small puzzle box. I'll look them over in more detail later. But now, I have some new orders for you. Okay, what new orders? I've glanced at his notes. They cover the Sixth House admirably, but not the Neverine. But not the Neverver. <laughs> this word's a tongue twister. But not the Neverver. <laughs> but that. 
I was having no trouble pronouncing it earlier, and now all of a sudden it's a problem. But that, but not the Neverine cult. Hop on over to Belmara Mages Guild. It's right next to Belmara Fighters Guild. Get the Shar, get Sharn Grow Gazba to tell you what she knows about the Neverine. She'll have some silly errand for you. Do what she asks and report back when she's giving you the information. Why does everyone have a goofy little errand for me, huh? Why can't they not have a goofy little errand for me to do? Thank y'all. They're much nicer to me now that I'm famous. This better be important. I do not even have to talk to you. I'm looking to talk to Shard. Shard? I think it's Sean. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Identify yourself. Okay, can you move? Thank you. I do not have to identify myself. Hurry up before I change my Hi. mind. Hi. We've met before. No, no interruptions. How many times? Oh, you're one of Caius's associates. That is a different matter. Caius and I have a very satisfactory arrangement. What does that mean? And I'm sure we can come to some sort of agreement if you will complete a little errand for me. What's your errand, buddy? The errand, then, is very simple. Simple, but not easy, right? I need the skull. <laughs> you need a skull? I need the skull of Lavu Anrano. I probably butchered that name. You'll find it in Alrano Ancestral Tomb, but take care not to upset the natives. The Dunmer have some particularly primitive prejudices against necromancy and take grave objection to unauthorized tomb visits. Well, I'm not going there to perform any necromancy. Once I explain that, they should be cool, right? Who is this guy? Why do you want his skull? He was no one special, a journeyman enchanter. There may be many skulls in Enrano tomb, but you'll have no problem recognizing Luvar's skull from the ritual mockings. Okay, wait a minute. He was no one special, but you want his skull. I don't believe you. Where is this ancestral tomb? Oh, you gave me a bunch of stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to carry this stuff. The tomb is south of Pellegrid, just off the road. Just before you reach the fork where the road gets southwest towards Sayanid and southeast of Yvec, you may need an enchanted blade. Some spirits are immune to normal weapons. Here, take this old short sword. And maybe these old scrawls will come in handy. Well, thank you for the fire blade and the scrawls, but I don't know if I'm able to carry those, buddy. I am over encumbered. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Since I will be coming back here, I guess I can drop some of my stuff here. Look at how over encumbered I am. Oh my gosh. Oh, I should have left this ebony helm at home. Why am I carrying it? Oh, and I have this Dwarven Spear. I think I took that to sell, so I guess I'll just drop that for now. Okay, that unburdened me greatly. Is there anything else I can leave here? Got a ton of ingredients that I should not have in my inventory. So got these 11 pages. Does those, those don't have weight. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna leave this here. It's not yours, it's mine. Okay, so I've probably been to this tomb before, I'm guessing. It's between Sayanid and Vivec. So let's go to Vivec. Hey buddy. We make a special trip just Thank for you. you. Same low price. I would like to go to Vivec, please. Oh, you can take me to Sayanid. Bring me to Sayanid. It's cheaper. We make a special trip just for you. Same low Thanks, price. buddy. I just got here though. South of Pellingrin, just off the road. Where the road goes southwest towards... Oh. So, I should have went to Pellingrin. Well, shoot. <laughs> Where is Pellingrin? Oh, okay, it's close. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, I got to 96. Yes. I've got magic of potions, right? Or did I neglect that? I've got far too many potions. And none of the magic of potions. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh! Alright, buddy. I do not think so. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna turn around. Oh, 
I'm out of Magicka again. I don't got any more Magicka potions. I think I might have cleared this place already. I think so. Yeah, look, a dead body. I must have been here and I hear flies. Gosh, there's flies a lot. Oh! Oh my gosh! Okay, things again, too easy. Having a Daedric Sword and being level 30. Gosh, this place is big. What am I looking for again? I completely forgot. Oh, the skull, the skull, that's right, that's right. It didn't even say that in my journal, I just remembered. Okay, I'm looking for a Oh, what is that? Oh my gosh, get away from me. No, 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 what? I felt like there was something else hitting me. Oh, a lesser bone walker. See, I need- Oh, him! I need my night eye on, for sure. Okay, help me out here. Thank you. Oh gosh, look at him. What happens if I jump down here? That looks like it goes far. Well, we won't be jumping down there. Skeleton Archer. Oh, I really want your arrows, buddy. Wait, those were some heavy arrows. I am over-encumbered. Why are these arrows so heavy? Alright, I'll drop them. Man. Some heavy arrows. I would like a blessing. What's for lots indwelling? We have that. What does that do? For lots indwelling. It doesn't- it doesn't really say. Okay. Didn't really say what it does. Alright, I'm hearing another ancestral ghost, I think. It's got markings on it, this skull. It sucks that I have to leave that stuff, but- Oh, look at him! I don't have the- I don't have the weight carry for it. Things are getting extremely easy, though. I might have to up my difficulty. Right now, I'm just playing on normal- Oh! But I have an extremely powerful weapon. He was crippled. He's truly down now. <laughs> okay, I'm still hearing these whisperings. What is happening in this tomb? Why does it have to be so creepy? Ooh, gold. I didn't have any trouble from the locals. Oh man, I can't take anything. I'm overburdened. Well, besides gold, I can take gold. Ooh. Prongs. Oh, okay, I'll take that though. I'm having a lot of trouble finding this skull. Everybody always wants a small... Ooh, gosh. Everybody always wants a small little thing. Puzzle box, a skull. I mean, a skull's pretty big compared to a puzzle box. Can I get him through the door? No. Ooh, it doesn't really matter. It takes two hits to kill him. Oh, there he is. I, I don't see any strange mockings on him at all. And also the dagger of justice. And also the dagger of judgment. It's not worth a lot, though. What does it cast? It damages endurance and strength. Alright, buddy, I gotta take you. What do we have here? Oh, a bunch of ingredients I really can't take. Oh, but this restores magic, oh, so I'm gonna take that. The lessons of you back. Unarmed skill, ooh. These were the days of Radeana. When Chimer and Dwemer lived under the wise and benevolent rule of Amsivi and their champion, the Horator, when the gods of Valat would retreat into their own to mold the cosmos and other matters, the Horator at times became confused. Vivek would always be there to advise him. And this is the third of the three lessons of ruling kings. The ruling king will remove me, his maker. This is the way of all children. His greatest enemy is Shormoth, who is the false dreamer. Ooh. Is this part of the dreamer cult? 
You or he is the shingle, horator. Beware the wrong walking path. Beware the crime of benevolence. The crime of benevolence? Behold him by his words. I am Sharmath. I am older than music. What I bring is light. What I bring is a star. What I bring is an ancient sea. When you sleep, you see me dancing at the core. It is not a blight. It is my house. I put a star into the world's mouth to murder it, tear down the pylons. My blind fish swim in the new... What is that word? <laughs> Philostein? Philogston? Philostin? I don't know. Tear down the pylons. My death moons sing and burn and orbit me. I am older than music. What I bring is light. What I bring is a star. What I bring is ancient sea. You alone, though you come again and again, can unmake him. Whether I visit it is within my wisdom. Go unarmed into his den with these words of power. Words I cannot pronounce <laughs> at all. Or do not. The temporal myth is man. Reach heaven by violence. This is the magic I give to you. The world you will rule is only an intermittent hope, and you must be the letter written in uncertainty. The ending of the words is Om Sivi. What you got in here? Oh, I cannot take that. Log and shock resistance, cheap restore luck. I'll take the luck one. There's still a bunch of whispering. I thought once I took the skull, there'd be no more. Now the question is, where am I going to be recalled to if I hit my recall? I don't know. I don't think it's going to be Balmara, but we'll try it. All right, recall. Oh, my magicka has been completely restored. That's good. Oh, good. I'm here. Thank goodness. Let's put my train and spell on. I really can't help you, stranger. Okay, buddy. Chill out. You will address me with respect. You will leave me alone. Thanks. Hey, buddy. Why should I speak with you, Kaji? You set me on a mission, and I have fulfilled the mission. Don't you want this skull? Very good. I'll just take that skull from you. Perfect for what I have in mind. What do you have in mind? <laughs> Thank you. Now, as I promise, I'll answer your questions on the Neverine cult. Go ahead. Okay. This Ashlander cult believes in the long-dead hero, Narivar, will be reborn to honor ancient promises to the tribe. And let me guess, I'm Narivar. <laughs> I'm always the special one. <laughs> According to the legend, the prophesied Neverine will cast down the false gods of the tribunal temple, restore traditional ancestor worship practiced by the Ashlanders, and drive all Ashlanders from Merwin. Both Temple and Empire outlaw the cult, but it persists among the Ashlanders who care little for Imperial or Temple rule. Here, take this copy of my notes on the topic for Caius. Thank you. Can you tell me more about the Nerevar? Nerevar is a First Age hero of the Dunmer people. He was a great general and a leader. He helped form the First Council and united the Dunmer houses against foreign invaders aided by traitors of House Dagoth. He triumphed over Merwin's enemies at Red Mountain, but died in battle. Oh. Oh, okay. What's the difference between the Nerevar and the Nevarine? The Ashlanders have a prophecy that the legendary hero Nerevar will be reborn. They call this reincarnated hero the Nevarine. Oh, okay. So Nerevar is the guy, and the Nerevarine is his reincarnation. So I am the Nevarine. If I'm even pronouncing that right, y'all. Alright, before we go, I'm gonna do a little training. With one of my favorite Khajiits. You will address me with <laughs> Speak Hi, can I get a little training from you, buddy? I would like some training in Enchant, please. Thank you. Thank y'all so much for watching, and if you like the video, don't be afraid to subscribe. Bye, y'all.